Capricorn, it's Dedicia here from astrology.com.au with your April, I call it a mini forecast for the month of April 2013. Hope you're well. Um, look, the significant transits that I see here, Venus in the fourth house, actually several planets there, Venus, the Sun, and uh, Mars as well, three planets there, focusing a lot of attention on your domestic sphere and with aspects to planets such as Jupiter in the sixth house, which is the place of death having a lot to do with consolidation of your loans. And that's not just financial debts. These are debts to your family. The fourth sector of the horoscope actually has to do with your real estate, yes, and your fixed assets and those larger ticket items that you buy and invest in. But it also has to do with your family, the way you're investing time and energy into them. So possibly you have a debt that you haven't, you haven't been paying enough attention to these people. And of course that accrues in terms of emotional karma your emotional account balance, your karmic balance there. But fortunately, the sextile aspect, which just occurred on the 1st of April, along with the sun in the same sextile aspect to Jupiter in the sixth house of death, indicates that you're able to make some sort of amends or produce some time there and make that available for the people that mean most to you. Passionate aspect of uh, Venus and Mars in this same area indicates that a lot of you, particularly those of you who want to try your hand at interior design or refurbishing your, your home, have an opportunity now to do that. It's a very constructive, but at the same time, passionate combination, Venus and Mars in that area. It's also passionate in terms of expressing who you are, because I know for a lot of you, and uh, not all of you, but a lot of you born under the sign of Capricorn do have a tendency to be uh, somewhat reserved. You're probably accused of being far too cautious. Now here's your opportunity to prove everyone wrong, at least for the time being, under this transit, when Venus and Mars come together, that passionate side of your nature, the side that only I know about because I'm an astrologer. No, seriously, let, let that come out. This is an opportunity to passionately get behind someone in your family, passionately involve yourself with your, your partner's business or pastime. You know, Mars is having what we call the, the, the fourth glance or the square aspect to your marital sector. That can be challenging, but challenges are sometimes good because they push you out of your comfort zone. So that's what needs to happen now under these transits. Look, there's an important transit of Pluto as well. That's been transiting your sun sign for a long time and will continue to for a long time yet. That goes into its stationary retrograde motion on the 13th. And that is also going to activate a lot of the parts of your personality that uh, you sometimes try to control. This could be a time when you show the other side of your personality. Surprise the world, Capricorn. Let others see this side of your nature that is daring, that is bold. And don't be scared to manipulate the circumstances, as long as you don't abuse other people, to what it is you want right now. That's happening on the 13th. Now on the 15th, we see uh, transits of Venus into the fifth house of romance, love affairs. Venus is a very friendly planet. I can assure you that this is going to make you feel a lot more comfortable within yourself about how you're dealing with other people. It's also a very nice aspect if we talk about family, it's related to children. So if you're a parent, now's the time to pay back that karmic debt to children. Often we're far too busy to give the attention that we know we want to in our hearts. We think, geez, I really wish I could give them a lot more time. Here's your chance. Venus moving into this area will do that. Now I've just lost your transit list here. I'm going to find it again because I want to just... Uh, Keep up to date with where we're going here. <clears throat> there are some other transits there as well. Uh, those other planets we mentioned, Sun and Mars, will also move into this particular area of the zodiac. So that's going to accentuate your desire for creativity and to do something uh, far more meaningful with your with your life just now, rather than just work, rather than just earn money, rather than you know look at the clock and wonder how, how much your time is worth in terms of money. This is a time for you to really uh, enjoy your life now. And I think that's what a lot of these transits are talking about. Excellent transits from that Venus on the uh, 24th and 25th, both to the Sun and to Pluto. Then we have a sextile aspect to Neptune on the 25th as well. So those few days are very, very nice. And uh, Mars in your fifth house of love affairs on the 27th. That one is a, a favourable aspect, but it says you've got to be a little bit careful about taking your rose-coloured glasses off. You may be seeing a lot more in a relationship than is there. 
I hope this has been a nice little introduction to the month of April. For further information, our textual and more in-depth analysis, daily, monthly and yearly readings at astrology.com.au. Uh, we've got our free readings there. Lots of other information on particularly love and romance because that's our forte at the site. And uh, naturally, if you want a more in-depth, personalised reading, uh, astrologers like myself and hundreds of other colleagues are there waiting for you to uh, give you the uh, deep insights that you're probably looking for. Till next month, take care Capricorn. Nice to see you again. Bye-bye.